Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy out West Wade, and I'm checking in with Tampa on Industry's Most Wanted Podcast. Yeah. Yeah, we go get converted to jungle, so who wants to stack? All in on the pot, so I'm up in the status. Broke it in the bitch, I got work, make it happen. Made my niggas rich, I'ma do it, got passed. I was on the block with my sip and my rats. Take off like a catapult, bitch. When it comes to this music shit, I cannot help that I'm blessed. But you niggas want all the smoke out of me, figure four, bitch. I'll dump your bitch ass on your neck. Nigga, my life is still people, cause none of you niggas ain't slid on me. What's going on, man? It's your girl, Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the industry's most wanted podcast. Boom! Out West Wade in the building. What Give up? me some love, bro. What up? What up? Bam! What up? What up? He came in here looking all fly and stuff. You did that for me, didn't you? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Anything for you. Got the sh- I love them shades first and foremost. Them things hard. Yeah, and Versace lenses. Man, those things are beautiful. They look good on you too. They suit your face. I appreciate it. Appreciate Absolutely, it. man. Go ahead and give us that official introduction. Man, this is boy Big Out West Way, man. We in here checking in with Tampa Mystic, Industries Most Wanted, man. Man, y'all go ahead and stay in tune, man. We in this bitch, man. Yeah. Straight like that, period. Um, where you from originally? Shit, North Carolina. Winston Salem Trey Foe stand up, man. Man, that is dope, bro. Listen, North Carolina produces a lot of dope artists. I just think some of them haven't got their just due. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are you still residing out there? Yeah, yeah. I'm still out there, man. Every day. Yeah. In the jungles. Man. Grinding yeah. it out. Yeah. Did you enjoy growing up out there? Mm, somewhat, you know. I grew up a little bit. I mean, I ain't going to say I grew up different than others, but, yeah. you know, we all got our own little story on how we grew up. You of know course. What I'm saying? Trenches and all that stuff, trying to, you know what I'm saying, make it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to make some money, doing whatever we can to make it, you feel me? Rather if you know what I'm saying, got to do something, you feel me, a little off the wall, but, you know, we still make it to pay the rent. Absolutely. Know? You know, I wish I, you know what I'm saying, I grew up a little bit better, but, you know, that's just how I was, you feel me, hopefully it'll make me and never break me. No, nah, facts, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think that, you know, the old saying is we become a product of our environment, which mm-hmm. can be very true, but it's up to us to break the cycle if it's not what we want to do for the rest of our life. Yeah, this ain't no career. Right, absolutely, yeah. most definitely. So when did music come into play? Sure. Honestly, my uncle used to boom Jeezy and all that probably <laughs> back then. Like, I was legit, like, probably, like, 9, 10, like, sitting up here like, yo, I could write this. Like, I could write to this, you know. I turned, like, 14, I wrote my first track. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I probably got a little, you know what I'm saying, a little gift. You know, go ahead and get this shit, you know what I'm saying, working for me. Great grandma always told me, you know what I'm saying, always believe in and do what you want to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, I like shit, man. Just go ahead and put it into action. It's so something so special about grannies, boy. They they instill that wisdom. Mm-hmm. They gonna hype you up. Yeah. Make you feel good. Yeah. Feed sure. you, you know, all that. Got me this far. <laughs> Got me far. <laughs> Were you raised by your grandmother? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love grandma. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Is she still alive? She's still yeah. around? Yeah. That's a beautiful blessing. Yeah. That's a blessing. She lives in North Carolina? Yep. Aww, See her every day. Shout out to Granny. Yeah, shout out to Grandma. I yeah. Grandma. Yeah, me too. My, mine's my grandma too. And my grandma is about to be 99 years old. Like, imagine what That's she has blessing. seen. That is a blessing. That's a blessing. And she still lives by herself. Mm. She don't have nobody. Like, she cooks and cleans. The only thing she don't do is drive because her eyes vision is not that good. But yeah. isn't it amazing, like, these grandmothers, boy, they be living, don't they? People don't understand that it's it's a blessing to live longer. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be picking on people, calling them old and all that shit. Like, it's really a blessing that they live in to see that age. Ooh, you know Lord. I be getting upset that. when people call people old. I'm like, because I feel the same way as you. I'm like, do you realize how much of a blessing it is? Because a lot of people don't make it to see 25, 30 years old anymore. Man, especially in my city. Like, man. it's just, it's crazy, man. R.P. Tate, man. R.P. Ray, too, man. I lost them man. back yesterday. It was crazy. Man. My condolences, bro. Like, that's a lot when you lose somebody close to you. Yeah, man. It's just, I mean, I just got to understand that it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just they shell that's leaving me. Yeah. Me, but they spirit is still going to be with me. They with you right now. They with me right now. 100%. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you're doing to, like, change that narrative to make sure that you don't become that next victim? Man. I either stay out of the way, you feel me, or make sure, you know what I'm saying, my game plan is going accordingly to plan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure I don't try to add to it. Yeah. Because that's one thing we don't need. A hundred percent. Yeah, so, you know, 
just stay out of the way mostly. You know? Absolutely. Do you ever get anxiety? Nah. No, you good uh, on that? Yeah. You smoke? Yeah. Oh, that's why you don't get anxiety. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smoker, baby. What you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I know that's right. That's how mm-hmm. hey, I I do get anxiety, but the the THC, we oh, go, yeah. we go, you know, that's what gets me, like, that's what mellows me out. It helps me stay focused, you feel me? Like, even so then, like, I always was taught, you know what I'm saying, keep cool even when, you know, everything crashing around, you just maintain your, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Posture, you know, I was always taught that. Yeah. Grandma. Shout out to grandma, man. Yeah. Like, one thing that I learned, and I think a lot of other people learned during the pandemic, was um, we have to be proactive rather than reactive. Yeah. When people are reactive, that's when ugly stuff happens. I come up and I say something nasty to you. You react to it and you could pull out a gun and shoot me. And now you've changed my life. I'm dead, possibly. Yeah. You know, so it's like people need to learn to be more proactive yeah. rather than reactive. Because not everything deserves a reaction. Yeah, your anger gets you fucked up, man. Facts. You think first, man, before you react. Right. Straight up. Absolutely. And some people be like, oh, I ain't walking away. No, I think it takes more of a man or more of a woman to be able to walk away from a situation. Now you live to see another day. Yeah. Period. true. You know? Yeah. So it's it's hard. It is hard out here because there's yeah. so much pressure to look a certain way, act a certain way. It is. <laughs> hey, man, for real, man. Like, I mean, I don't, like, you feel me? Like, I know what they ain't going on. I, I wish there was a way I could, like, you feel me, help change the whole, like, you feel me, atmosphere on a lot of shit, you yeah. feel me? But they ain't, you feel me? Like, I can't, they ain't going but I think what you can do because you're you're a music artist, okay? Yeah. A lot of these youngins look up to music artists. Yeah. So you can make a positive impact just by the way you present yourself to the world, spreading positivity. You know, not saying you can't have some, you know, a little thugged out music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time you're spreading positivity cuz these these youngins yeah. if they don't have a, a father figure, oh yeah. They look up to guys like you. Yeah. Like, definitely, like, I mean, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, I damn slide through the blocks, you feel me, I damn go and get the kids out a little, you know what I'm saying, $5, $20, you know what I'm yeah. saying, definitely look out for the kids, you know what I'm saying, look out for the people who don't, you know what I'm saying, how much, you know what I'm saying, give them a little motivational speaker, but yeah. sometimes, you know what I'm saying, being, being where I am and my image today, it's kind of hard to do so, you know it what I'm is. saying, like, I can only do a lot of behind the scenes work, you know what I'm yeah. saying, so. Uh, it's just what I just pray for. Them. There you go. Absolutely. Right. And I think a lot of what we need to do, too, is is congratulate them when they do stuff good. Yeah. Man, that's a good job. Because yeah. if they're not hearing that, mm-hmm. then they're like, why do I bother doing anything good? Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. getting rewarded for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, kids, they need to hear that nowadays. They you do. Know what I'm like, they they ain't going. They think they out here, they work going unnoticed. You know, Facts. You know Facts. So it's up to us, people like us yeah. who are adults, to, you know, make sure that they stay in line. Keep them on a the straight arrow. 100%. Mm-hmm. So for people who haven't had the opportunity to check out your music, right, mm-hmm. and they're listening to it for the first time, and I know you probably got a variety of music, right? Yeah. What do you want them to feel? What do you want them to, like, what type of energy do you want them to get from your music? Like, mostly my music is for people who, who come from the same struggle as me, who understand yeah. the same thing, which is mostly, like, most of cats out here, you feel me? Like, yeah. I want them to feel, you know what I'm saying, exactly where I'm coming from. Like, just listen to it, man, word for word. Like, feel that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I can do that shit, bop, you feel me? Yeah, absolutely, most definitely. <laughs> out of all the songs that you've recorded and that are out there on the platforms, right, which one is the most personal one for you? Mm. That's a hard one right there. <laughs> Cause I just came out with a mystic call with stories. Like it's pretty much a story on like everything I've been through. So yeah. it's just like they all kind of hit different for me. You know what I'm saying? Like especially when I'm going through certain things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Like sounds like maybe that whole project as a whole. Yeah. Like it's 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 all you know what I'm saying. Meaningful Heartfelt. to me. Yeah. yeah. Like it all. It's a good, it's a good. (laughs) (laughs) Tell everybody the name one more time. Out West Stories. Out West Way to Out West Stories out now. All platforms. Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. Go ahead, check that out. That shit hard. (laughs) Does Mm -hmm. grandma like your music? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Surprising. 
I don't be expecting her to like some of the songs, but she like all of it. Because you're her baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's my baby. 100% fan. She there for me no matter what. <laughs> what is your favorite thing that she uh, cooks for you? Mm, probably the barbecue chicken. Oh, Lord. Yeah. That just made me hungry. Yeah, Come on, Carolina, Grandma. Carolina, home of the barbecue <laughs> chicken. She make her own sauce. <laughs> Woo! Oh, she makes slapped. her own sauce. Yeah, if she made, if she had a restaurant, she'd probably be a millionaire. Yeah, right now. she come with her own ingredients and all that. Dang. Yeah. So, okay, let's dive into that a little bit more. Do you prefer your chicken to be like grilled, baked, fried? I mean, I'm obviously with if it's with a barbecue sauce, probably baked, right? Yeah, probably baked with it. Yeah, It'd fall off the bone. Like, Man, I'm I'm yeah. hungry now. I ain't had lunch yet. <laughs> I'm coming with you, Grandma. We on our way. <laughs> uh, what type of barbecue sauce do you enjoy? She make her own, but I I, I like you know. Probably that honey barbecue. There you go. A little sweet and yeah. spicy, a little tangy at the same time. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We're going to get along just fine. We're going to have some barbecue later. Grandma, yeah. we're on the way. Let her know. <laughs> Call her up and tell her we're on the way. <laughs> that is dope, man. Um, what's keeping you so motivated? I know, obviously, family sounds like it's very, very important to you. Do you have kids? Nah. No kids. Okay, so but you got a lot of supporters around you. What mm-hmm. is keeping you motivated? Shoot. Really? I mean, it's a lot of things that motivate me every day I wake up, like, rather just, you know what I'm saying, just, well, mainly it's my family. Like, I want to take my family, and I want to put them in a big-ass house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I want to take, you know what I'm saying, get everybody together in the one. Like, every time I, I walk through and I see them, like, maybe they might be struggling or something like yeah. that. It, it gives me more motivation to keep moving, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like seeing people sad and, yeah. and shit like that, like. Ain't, ain't, you feel me? Like, it, it hurt my heart to see that, you feel yeah. me? So it helps me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, let me go ahead. Like, dang, on my day come, I'm just got to wait my turn. Yeah. You feel me? Go ahead, get them up, get them up out of the hood, you feel me? Big plan, you know what I'm saying? You're going to make all that happen. Mm-hmm. Because it sounds like you really have a genuine heart. Like, I get that vibe from you. You're not doing this just for the clout. you doing it because you want to help your people. Yeah, this ain't no career, you feel me? Trying to then gonna really get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like never come back type shit. You feel me? People dying every day, man. Absolutely. We, we on what well, homicide number twenty three. They say it's gonna be a hundred by the end of the year. That is crazy. Can't have that. Man. No, like people need to like put the guns down. Use them strictly, strictly, strictly for protection. Yeah, just protection. You know, not just because you have a gun now I can go shoot somebody. You know. Yeah. We had a, a guy here in Atlanta like three, four days ago. He walked into a hospital and shot five women. One of them Sheesh. died. That and was I, up here? Yeah, it was downtown Atlanta. Mm. It, like literally like four or five days ago. And he was young. He was in his 20s. And I'm just like, dang, in a hospital? You can't even be safe in a hospital? Mm. You don't know where people's mentality is. You know what I'm saying? Just God bless them people. Man. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what are some of the things that you're doing in your city to get your name and your music out there? Do they have a lot of platforms? Uh, some, well, I'm, I'm out there doing shows and stuff like that. You know, yeah. I, got, I got a lot of support from the city, actually. Yeah. Me? I was just looking to, you know, I want to expand it more to, to you know, Larger cities, you know, because yeah. Salem small as it is, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the city fold me heavy. Yeah. Like, everybody they ain't going, you feel me? It's, it's, and it's kind of hard because people in the city, they're not, they not as supportive as what, you know what I'm saying, you believe, which is, it, that happens everywhere. Right, but, absolutely. But down there, especially if they grew up with you, they knew you, they definitely going to hate on you. So, you <laughs> feel me? It's definitely a big plus for that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a blessing, actually. I ain't going to say it's a plus. It's a blessing for me to even make it that far. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. A lot of people who knew you that don't support, the way I look at it is because when people know you, they become envious. Yeah. Hate comes from the people that you don't know. Envy comes from the people you do know. And those are the mm-hmm. most dangerous ones. Yeah, man. Just, mm. Hey, I had a long journey. Long journey, ain't do nothing but build wisdom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I became, like I say, like, all this, it made me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know now to watch out for them snakes in the grass. Right, right. It's it's easy to capture them now. Like, keep my grass cut short. Facts. It's just, even if I, you know what I'm saying? I even had to come to a conclusion with some of my homies. Like, look, I could fuck with you on this level, but I can't fuck with you on this level. Nah, for real. I, I don't think you fully understand where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? So I had a damn gonna let him go like that. Like, at least keep it real. Speaker of truth got no friends, but shit, so be it, so be it. Absolutely. The older I get, the less people I'm around. 
Yeah. My circle has gotten like so microscopic because I don't trust a lot of people. She don't trust them. They ain't got the same ambitions as you. Facts. Like, shit different, man. Like, go ahead and get them up out the way, man. It's just extra weight. Yeah. Sounds like your grandma has instilled a lot of wisdom in you. Yeah. Share like something. Like, what's a gym that that grandma has shared with you about life that you actually have instilled and you, you know, utilize it in your everyday life? Mm. I know it's probably a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think about the one that stick the most. She said it a lot. Man. Grandma that came through it a lot. Man. Encouraging words to help me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Throughout life. Like, I think, um, what she said, the most gangster shit she said to me. I was like, you know. I think then going, I was I was going through some trouble or whatever, and then going, you feel me? Like I was like, why the hell I can't get you know what I'm saying this thing rolling for me? Yeah. Like, why you know what I'm saying people keep you know what I'm saying somebody will run off somewhere you know what I'm saying I won't see him no more. She looked at me and she said, "Look, every dog ain't got to eat." Mm. And I was a young boy when she said it. I mean, it was the first time I ever heard them words. Yeah. You know, it might be new. I mean, it might be new to some people, you feel me? It might be old to people, but that's what she told me. It was my first time hearing it. She said, every dog ain't got to eat. Mm. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Don't go out there feeding these motherfuckers. That's you know? facts. That shit was really That just gave me chills. Really, it mm -hmm. did, because that's the facts of life. Yeah. Not everybody is intended to go on your journey with you. Mm -hmm. And we, people like us who have a kind heart, yeah. We try to bring everybody along sometimes, but you're like, you know what? No, you can't go on this journey with me. Yeah. yeah. We try to see the good in everybody. <laughs> Shit gets you hurt. It man. gets you hurt. You up. Can't do it with everybody. No, nah, facts, yeah. facts. It, throughout the, your journey within music, we'll say music specifically, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned? Ooh. <laughs> Boy, shoot. Sound man. like he been through some stuff. Yeah, just <laughs> just make sure everything official tissue. <laughs> make sure yeah. you get the contracts. Make sure everything just official. Make sure everybody about what they talking about, man, because it's easy for them to get you. Yes. So just make sure you check it. Make sure everything check out. Yeah. And if everything don't check out, it probably ain't real for you. Like, Absolutely. Because everybody just want to just use your talent or just they just want you for your bread or some shit. Yeah. They just want to send you out the door. They don't give a fuck about you. That's man. facts. Absolutely. You have to do your homework on people, especially mm -hmm. if you're breaking bread with somebody yeah. or finding yourself in a close proximity of them and having to do business with them. Yeah. You know, I remember a bigger, bigger's been like my OG since day one and he's instilled so much wisdom. He's big as like my grandma. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to bigger. Rankin, <laughs> Shout out to bigger. Rankin. He'd probably kill me if I, he heard me say that, <laughs> <laughs> but biggers put all this wisdom in me too. And you know, he all, he said one thing about this music business is sometimes you're going to have to do business with people you don't like yeah but you know where to keep that those people at yeah you know what i'm saying because not everybody can be associated with your brand because they're gonna yeah. tear it down mm -hmm. exactly like <laughs> i had to learn the hard way like you feel me like okay i mean there may be some people like you feel me like even today you feel me some people i'm dealing with i don't like but i know i know where the business stand like i know at least we do this correctly yeah you know what i'm saying so Hundred percent. Yeah, you just got to stay on your p's and q's, as yeah, they say. You know what I'm and saying? Q's until it's time to. You don't need them no more. As soon as you can get rid of them, you don't need them. Go ahead, get them out the way. Nah, for real. Yeah. Do you find yourself like learning how to do a lot more stuff yourself so you can eliminate certain people from being around you? Every day. <laughs> Every day. I'd rather take the wheel myself. There you go. Uh, at least I know if I do it, it's gonna get done correctly. Correct. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's hard when you outsource certain things because they either don't do it to your liking or they take too long yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's why I record all my own interviews. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. Shout out to Temple Mystic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We are the industry's yeah. most wanted. You dig? Yeah. <laughs> so when it comes to you uh, recording, do you have a setup at your crib? Uh, Nah, we go. We got a whole little studio. Okay. Family we go to. Family. Go ahead and knock out the magic duck. Feel me? Shout out to Ray too. Feel me? When you're in the studio, what is the vibe like? What do you What do you like? Some people like a lot of people. Some like nobody in there. Some people like drink. Some people like smoke. What's your vibe? Mm, me, 
I need good energy. Like, I don't need nobody coming in there with no fucked up attitude. Nah, like, for real. Because I feed off, I feed off of it, too. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel that shit. Like, I'm like, hell, no, no, I feel all pissed off. Like, I need my weed up in there, of course. <laughs> you know? But mostly, I need them good vibes. Like, yeah. I like to feed off good energy. It makes everything good. Like, I want to come out and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Of course, keeping it truthful, you feel me, if something ain't sounding right. But I only want them good vibes, at least, you feel me? Like, I don't want to feel like, you know what I'm saying? Some bullshit, you feel me, when they come out. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. because whatever you're feeling at that moment and you deliver it into your music, you'll probably never be able to redo it exactly the same. Exactly. Like, it never comes out the same. Never. Like, yeah. no matter how hard you try, and I think the harder you try, if you try to recapture it, the more different it's going to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like you said, having that good energy because one thing i've learned about energy is you can transfer it you mm -hmm. cannot destroy it yeah. once it's there it's there mm -hmm. so if you got somebody with a negative ass attitude around you it's going to reflect on you yeah, we man. keeping them people at a distance yeah <laughs> put them outside the door man. can't have that listen mm. bro i be making people speak to me yeah <laughs> I go to, especially when you walk, you go to the grocery store and you walk to the checkout line, you could tell the little cashier got an attitude because they don't yeah. want to be there and they don't even say shit to you. Yeah. I'm going to make your ass speak to me. Greet me. <laughs> I'm spending money in here. <laughs> and it's the same thing like being in the studio. You don't want to be around them kind of people. Mm -hmm. uh, not at all. I can't do it. Man. Like, uh, I tell them leave real yeah. quick. Absolutely. So what are some of the things that you're working on right now to make sure you're keeping your name, your brand, everything, you know, super relevant because we're in a digital content era. Yeah, everything. So I got I got a music video coming out okay. for a song. Uh, I'm working on I ain't going to say too much about it. Feel me? It's a little secret project, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> got music videos coming out. I got more uh, mixtapes dropping too, you feel me? Like, a couple more, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, like, big shows, you feel me? If every, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Big I know solo, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Come on, pee me up. Yeah. Right here, hardest motherfucker right here. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole bunch of stuff, little projects and stuff coming in. Feel me? I can't wait to let everybody hear it. Yeah. So have you done, I know that you said your most recent uh, project was a mixtape. Yeah. So elaborate to me what made it a mixtape rather than an album. Well, well, mm, shit. That's how it is. Is it more like an album? Is it all it's, it's, original? It's, 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 it's like a mixtape. Like, I put my heart into it, but you feel me? Like, I ain't, you feel me, go, like, fully in depth. Like, I got you. In depth, you feel me? Like, Understood. It was more so, like, you know what I'm saying? It's still for the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just, you know, everyday things, like, still, you know, stuff we all doing out here, you feel me? At least for my niggas in the streets, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't go fully in depth with it. Like, I'm definitely going to come on with my first album real soon. I'm Got you. I'm going to definitely show you the difference. Yeah. You know so saying? you've been feeding the people. Yeah, just giving them. them. Yeah. yeah just feeding them right now. Then when they go, I'm going to get a little personal. If you down and gritty on the album, let them, you know what I'm saying, see where I'm coming from, a different perspective and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so are you already in album mode now? Mm hmm. Really? I'm always in album mode, you feel me? Like, right now, at least, you feel me? Now that I'm eleva elevated, you know, learn some more. You know what I'm saying? Tech around. I'm definitely they ain't going to put myself in album mode now. Yeah, most yeah, definitely. Learning. <laughs> yeah, it's a big learning process. Mm -hmm, learning. I feel like I'm about ready now. Yeah. yeah. I, with the, probably the streets is ready for it, too. Your people's ready for it. They ready. All that. Mm -hmm. I see you got your nose pierced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How long you had that? Mm-hmm. I think probably like seven months now. Okay. It was one of them just fucking things. You feel yeah. Me? So I pop got one. Nah, got one. <laughs> Tampa got one. Yeah, you know what I'm Tampa got one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go ahead and get one too. Nah, me? for real. Mm -hmm. I've had mine. It's crazy. I've had mine since I was 13 years old. Me and my sister went to the mall, and back then you could go to the mall to any of the piercing places, and they would do it. Now I think you got to go to, like, sometimes tattoo shops or certain. Yeah. I got it when I was 13, and I remember my mom dropped me and my sister because she was four years older than me. She dropped us off at the mall. You know, when you're young, you like to walk around the mall, look, yeah. at, look at girls, look at boys, all that. Yeah. We got our nose pierced. My mom picked us up, me and my sister, and she was like, what <laughs> the hell? Who 
who was it? Was it MC Light? I think it was MC Light back then had it done, and that was my inspiration. MC I'm 49, so you do the math. How many years this thing? Of course, I've switched it out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the same one, but yeah, you know, it's just a whole vibe. <laughs> you gonna get one of the these right here? Nah, no, I, I, I think this was enough. That's right enough here. right yeah. there. It look good on you too. Yeah, this is that's all I could do right here. <laughs> I I already got a little bit of feel me, feedback, so I'm like it. Some dang going. Yeah, feel me? They try me. So what you got on your arm? What's the tat on your arm? Uh, it's well, beautiful. Well, this is my own little inter. I hurt my hand right though, but this is my own little interpretation of like I would call heaven. Like got your stars, you know what I'm saying? Hold it up so we can see it on the camera. There we go. I can't see it too much. Of hood. All my tattoos, hood tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it still look good though. Yeah, and I got my grandma back there, the big dog. Oh. Yeah. And then every every family member that passed away got a little dove going on. I love that. Yeah. That is dope. So you feel like you always got a piece of them with you. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna get not necessarily the doves, because we don't want nobody else to pass away, but I'm talking about any more tats. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get a grenade on my stomach. Okay. Like, hey, shit, I'm definitely gonna get tattoos. I like feel me, go through that pain. Saying that shit really some pain. <laughs> 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 nah, for real. Yeah. Absolutely. So um I know that you said you're you're getting ready to go into album mode. Yeah. We're gonna expect an album, probably some more videos. Yeah. Um outside of music, is there other, you know, interests that you have business wise or even hobbies that you uh that you're into? Mm. So yeah, like we were saying, outside of music, you know, you have other business ventures. You were mentioning that merch was something. Yeah, I got some merch coming now. Out with Shotter's brand. I'm saying, feel me? Be on the lookout for that. Got shirts, feel me? Blunt wraps. Okay, that's yeah. dope. Yeah. That's dope. What you gonna have for the ladies now? Because, you know, ladies like the crop tops and all that. I'm you gonna, know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have some for them. I'm gonna have some for them too, you feel me? Have some. I'm gonna have exactly what they like. You know what I'm saying? Got a whole little, uh, we got a team. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, like a designer yeah, team? A yeah, designer team. That's dope. I love it. I think it's important as an artist that you have some other business venture going on. And merch seems to be one of the top ones because yeah. you put yourself in the consumer shoes. What do you like to wear? <sighs> and when you figure out what you like to wear, then you mm -hmm. bounce off of that to say, man, I like wearing certain kind of T-shirts, certain yeah. kind of hats, whatever. yeah. yeah. One thing that I always throw out there as a suggestion that I don't see enough people doing independently is socks. Yeah. Everybody wears socks. You got to make sure your socks are straight. Man. Nah, people, for real. Hey, man, you can't, <laughs> you can't you always know? wear them Nike socks with church shoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> please don't do that because yeah. i'm gonna talk about you i promise you yeah, that's right. and i don't like when they wear church shoes with no socks like <laughs> now i know they feed me steak smelling like corn chips <laughs> but no i i like to throw it out there because you know think about when people put some dope sneakers on and they always have just some maybe plain white socks i know throw in some dope socks so yeah. add that in there yeah definitely gonna do Period. Kill him this summer. No, nah, for yeah. real. Yeah. Straight like that. Um, before we get out of here, is there anything else? I, we're going to give out your social media, but is there anything else that you got in the works that you want to make sure everybody knows about? Shoot, man. Just keep on look out for me, man. Out west, we, I mean, we hitting the summer hard, man. Just make sure y'all ain't gone. Hey, yo, shout out Prolific Entertainment, too, man. We out here in this bitch, man. He out here. He behind the scenes, man. No, nah, for Motherfucker real. Motherfucker been making everything <laughs> happen, man. For real, man. Making sure everybody's straight, man. You feel me? But keep on the lookout, man. Big Al West, wait out this motherfucker, man. Just keep looking for me, feel me? Like albums, mixtapes. I'm going to be in your face all summer, you feel me? So you can't run from me. I know that's right. Yeah. I love that attitude. Mm -hmm. They going to feel you. Yeah. They going to see it's, you, but they going to feel you. It's happening. Gonna happen. I know that's right. You got great energy, positive attitude. Yeah. I can tell that you're close with your grandmother because grandmas always instill that good wisdom in you. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Bless her heart. I was, I'm coming for some of that barbecue chicken. <laughs> I promise you I'm coming. I want a plate. Next time he come out here, I need a plate. <laughs> I promise you. Um, tell everybody where they can follow you at on all your socials. Big underscore out West Way on, on Instagram, Facebook, everything. Just big underscore out West Way. Same thing. Not hard to find. I know that's right. He mm -hmm. out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, I know that you. we've been talking about a few people along this conversation. Of course, your grandmother. Anybody in particular that you want to give a shout-out to? Shout-out to my ma dudes, too, man. You feel me? Of course, without her, you feel me? I wouldn't even 100%. be here. 100%. Like, my uncle, too, you feel me? Shout-out to all them. Everybody who gave me a push. 
You feel me? Even when y'all felt like I was bullshit. Yeah. Feel me? Prolific entertainment. We in this bitch. Shout out to my homies. Feel me? Four to the army. Feel me? We out here. Feel me? Straight like that. Yeah. Um, last but not least, we live. Industries. Industries most wanted. Most Boom. Wanted. Out West Wade in the building. Big North Carolina representative, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and let everybody know what makes you the industry's most wanted. Sure. Man, I swear to God, nobody fucking with me in the goddamn Carolinas, nigga. My shit hard as a motherfucking nigga. You, know, you might as well get the fucking tune. Go ahead and download that shit right motherfucking now, nigga. You feel me? Go ahead and throw me up on the damn leaderboard. Shit too hard, you feel me? Oh. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Pop your ish. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah. We up out of here, y'all. I hope that I'm blessed. But you niggas went all the smoke out of me, figure four, bitch. I'll dump your bitch ass on your neck. Nigga, my life is still peaceful, cause none of you niggas ain't slid on me yet.